Hey guys, welcome back to Wentworth Life and welcome to the next Prisoner Special. In this video I am going to be reviewing Prisoner Cell Block H Episode 19, A Mother's Revenge. Okay, so in the last episode, Catherine Roberts swore that the man who attacked and raped her daughter Sarah would be caught and that he will pay. And in this episode, this is where Catherine takes her revenge. So for the most part of this episode, the Sarah Roberts story storyline continues to show the impact of the repercussions of what happened to Sarah's family. There is a moment in the episode where the dad, Ken, suggests that maybe it's best that this man doesn't get caught as it wouldn't be good for Sarah to be put through a trial, but... Catherine is determined to catch this man, and I don't blame her. We learn in this episode that the man who did attack Sarah is a work colleague of Ken, and that this guy's name isn't Jack, but his name is actually Warren. There's a scene where we see Warren searching through the newspaper to see if the attack has been reported or not, and then in walks Ken Roberts. Now, I'm not sure if Ken is Warren's boss, or if they are just like work colleagues, but it's it's so creepy that the man who attacked Ken's daughter is right there in front of him in his place of work. And it's true what they say, a lot of these attackers are someone you know. Later on in the episode, Sarah goes down to the shops to get some stuff for her mum. And while she is there, Warren, that man, parks up and he comes into the same shop. Sarah panics and she uses the shopkeeper's telephone to ring her mum and Catherine tells Sarah to stay put. She'll call the police and she will be straight down. Now, when Catherine is driving down the road to this shop, out walks Warren and Sarah then runs out behind him shouting mum, mum and then Warren goes to run to his car but Catherine, she drives down the road and purposely hits him and runs him over. Catherine then puts her car into reverse and drives over him again. She then drives forward and runs over him again and this goes on for like another two or three times just to make sure that he's dead. Catherine then gets out of her car and she can see her daughter who is totally shocked by what she's just witnessed and Catherine looks down at Warren's dead body while we can hear the police sirens getting closer. Now do I have any sympathy for this man? Hell no. I totally and understand Catherine's reasons for doing what she did and in my own personal opinion, she deserves a medal. It might have been better for her if she did it maybe in a less public place with no people watching and no cameras, but you know, you know, I suppose what she was thinking was that's the man who destroyed and violated her daughter, so she saw red and I can't say I wouldn't have done the same. What I loved about Prisoner is whenever we had a new character in an episode who was just this character on the outside, I always used to wonder to myself, Ooh, I wonder how this character is going to end up in prison because that's what was always going to happen with the female characters. There were some horrible scenes in this episode with Doreen and Frankie. They have managed to stay in this random guy's place while Doreen gives this guy sexual favours. Now Frankie isn't happy about it but they don't really have much choice at the moment. Now this guy, his name's Toddy and he comes back off his night shift and he tells Frankie Frankie to get out of his flat. He wants to be alone with Doreen and Doreen tells Frankie that she will be okay. So Frankie ends up leaving for the day but later on after Toddy has gone you know, on to his next night shift, Frankie heads back to the flat and she finds Doreen all beaten up really badly and it's really really horrible to watch and even imagine what Toddy did to Doreen. Frankie is not happy but they end up staying the night and while Doreen is fast asleep, Frankie finds a gun in the flat and the next morning when Toddy comes back Frankie beats him up as payback for what he did to Doreen and they then end up leaving with this gun. This is all going to end in tears in the next episode. I mean you know you should never have taken that gun Frankie. 
Oh dear. So Frankie and Doreen's era on the outside is getting darker and darker and we all know that Frankie's final episode is episode 20 which will be my next episode review but their time on the outside is coming to an end but a little bit more on that on my next review. Lynn Warner was back in Wentworth in this episode and she is very unlucky to be sharing her cell with Barbara Davidson. Now this is the episode where Vera tells B what Barbara is really in for and you know B now knows that it was definitely Barbara who set up Monica. So B tells Lynn that she wants her to search through Barbara's things to find where the drugs are hidden. So when Barbara is asleep in the middle of the night Lynn goes searching and rummaging through Barbara's things and she does find the drugs hidden in Barbara's bra but Barbara she ends up waking up but luckily Lynn comes up with a really good story and she tells Barbara that she was looking for some pills because the doctors have taken her you know her off her antidepressants since she left the hospital now Barbara is like well you need to give me some money if you want any but you know Lynn well done she just about managed to cover her tracks there anyway Lynn ends up telling B and Lizzie the following morning that they can find the drugs in her bra B and Lizzie then get the drugs and they attack Barbara B then tries to force Barbara to take and swallow all of the pills but Barbara she ends up screaming out and then the officers arrive and Barbara is then caught with all of these drugs it's such a good scene and then Barbara is then sent to solitary by her auntie Erica and I was like ha, 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 have some of that you sneaky snake Jean Vernon ended up asking Meg if she can move in with her because her flat is basically not livable anymore and Meg basically tells Jean that she's gonna have to think about it. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Jean does move in with Meg because I'm sure at some point in the show, Meg's flat gets broken into by one of Jean's parolees or something like that. I don't know. We'll get to that when we get to it. So things have started to take a little bit of a dark turn, but there are lots of things going on. I'm really looking forward to seeing Catherine behind bars in the next episode. I honestly don't remember much more of this storyline, so I'm really intrigued for what's coming next. My favourite part of this episode is definitely Catherine running down Sarah's attacker. I absolutely loved every single minute of it. My least favourite moment would have to be when Doreen was beaten up by the horrible Toddy character. It's just really not okay for me. Anyway guys, let's hear some of your thoughts on this episode. What did you think of this shocking, murderous ending? And were you happy that Barbara got a little bit of her just desserts? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments box below. Okay then guys, well thank you all for watching this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, stay safe and I'll see you all again very very soon, bye guys.